Hi. I feel like shit, and I'm in bed, but thought I'd make you a video for your birthday. Um, I'm gonna start off by um excusing my shithole best friend self, but uh, I ordered your gifts on Amazon Prime, and they told me they'd be here by today, which is Wednesday. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I'm, I'm making this Wednesday night, and your birthday is tomorrow, Thursday. But they told me I'd get here at the latest by Wednesday, and Amazon Prime is a lying piece of shit, because, oh, it's Wednesday, and um, there's no fucking package here, if, as you can see, but um, it's coming. Uh, but I also wrote you a letter, and you'll see when you read it, but in the letter, I, like, wrote it, and it's long, <laughs> and I read it over again, and I realized I swore, like, every other word, so I, like, highlighted every single time I swore, so don't read it at school, because people look at the words that are highlighted, and the words that are highlighted are, like, fucker, bitch, tits kind of thing. You you know what I'm saying. But anyway, um happy birthday. Um you're my best friend and you're 17 now and I'm 17, which is cool because like now we can both go to rated R movies and a lot of scary movies are rated R, so it's really convenient because we can go to any movie we want now. But there's really nothing else that's cool about turning 17. Like, turning 16 is cool because you get your license. Most people get their license. <laughs> you don't, but it's okay. You get it now that you're 17. But, like, seven, 16, you get your license. And 18, you get to do a whole bunch of stuff. Like, when you're... You know those commercials that are, like... Mm, they sell you these crazy things. Everything you wanted as a kid are, like, in those, like, TV commercials. And then at the very end... They just take your dreams and crush it and say, you must be 18 or older to call. Well, guess fucking what? In a year from today, you can call those commercials and order all the shit you want in the world. And that's awesome. So um, I'm happy that... That's, I don't know. <laughs> um, any, anyway, I can't find a good angle to hold this. This is really awkward. Hey. Uh... <laughs> Um, I just realized you don't have an iPhone, so I have to, like, post this on your Facebook wall, and everyone's gonna... Okay. Um, so, happy birthday. Here are some reasons why I think you're the greatest. Um, you're, like, the only person in the world that has, like, the same sense of humor as me, and, like, I'll see something and I'll start laughing at it and everyone looks at me weird and thinks I'm like crazy but then you're sitting right next to me like peeing yourself like remember that time when we were sitting on your bed and we were going through tumblr and lo and behold <laughs> flying a lawnmower <laughs> with epic sax guy <laughs> and we were both like peeing ourselves and like couldn't breathe and like holding each other like grasp like just gasping for air but like laughing and like enjoying it but like panicking because you can't breathe and that's scary it was weird it was like a beautiful moment though it was, it was lovely and then there was the other time where I had to sneak into your house to sleep over <laughs> because you weren't allowed to have sleepovers and your mom came in and I'd hide in the closet it was really awkward <laughs> who does that what what friends do that like most friends are like, yeah, I'll just see you when you're not grounded. But no, we're like, I'm going to sneak you into my motherfucking house. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who does that? Um, moving on. There are multiple reasons. Wh what the? Do you see the square on my face? I can't get rid of it. I hate My light is in the most inconvenient place ever when you're trying to make a selfie video. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, what was I even talking about? Um, oh, fun memories, right, um, uh, I really liked it when we were in eighth grade, and, um, we were sitting in your room at your old house, and both of us were like, oh my god, we're gonna be hipsters, 
literally, like, most embarrassing moment of my life, back when, like, freshman year, like, before freshman year, eighth grade middle school girls, when we thought it was, like, cool to be the most cliche, motherfucking annoying piece of shit ever, like, we thought that was cool, and it's not, and it's really embarrassing that that ever happened, that conversation should have never happened, that's just terrible, but that did, and that's, like, our past together, and we share that embarrassing fact about ourselves, then we both had hipster blogs.